Yeah. Let me see what percentage my phone is on. Uh, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. I ain't sitting up in no car tonight, baby. I ain't sitting up in the car tonight, babes. It's too nice outside for that. You're I'm just going to roll some vinyl up. Damn, I hit a, a, a smelly the whole ever out? Damn. That's why they be calling me Iron Lungs, you heard? No, are you smoking it out? Oh, I forgot to dump these beats. Damn, I forgot to dump these beats into my chunder joint, man. I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. You heard? What's populating? My trauma, man. You said my my summer rants. What you mean, my summer rants, my nigga? <laughs> you watching summer lives? Yeah, bro. Yeah, you know how I get, man. You know how I get. The Raiders was populating keys. What up? S Steven Penda was really good. Peace, peace. About to roll this vine up right quick. And then I'm walking with y'all. You heard? Now, my snapping ability is supreme, bro. I just be chilling, man. You feel me? People be behaving in the in the in the group, right? We don't get too many, we don't get too many trolls in here, man. You heard? We don't get too many trolls in the in the in the chats over here, man. Dudes don't be really trolling, man. This is this is the peeps is over here. Every once in a while, you know, a troll strolls into the mist and we destroy him and we devour his flesh paws and we get him out of here, my nigga. You know, trolls can't live here, man. Trolls go change their name and become supporters here. You heard? BA was populating, my bro. I see you in the building. Chef Young was really good. Was popping. My nigga know the ledge was populating, man. Y'all niggas up here doing this late night. It's late over here, but in L.A. it's only like 9 o'clock, man. Something like that, man. You heard? I'm just rolling up this little slim blunt right quick. You heard? SBG in the building. You already know. TGIF like a motherfucker. TGIF like a motherfucker. I'm going to go back in the crib I'm gonna watch that Liam Nielsen movie that I was watching on Netflix yesterday that's mad old that I thought was a new movie I don't know how I never saw that movie before if it was made in 2014 I'm gonna go finish watching that shit I'm gonna watch that one episode of Fresh Prince that I ain't watch Bel Air, you heard, smoke a slim blunt or two, and I'm going to call it a nizzle berry, I'm going to call it a nizzle berry, baby, I ain't sitting in this car, I'm tired of sitting in this car, now if I go outside and it start getting a little too brisky, you heard, now if I go out there and it's starting to get a little too brisky, I might be back up in here, baby. I'm just keeping it real. Michael Ortiz, I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you, my brother. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Feeling kind of breezy out here. You heard? It's feeling kind of crisp breezy out here. I don't know, man. I don't know if my slim blunt is going to stay lit in this type of environment. 
give it a shot though. I don't know, it ain't looking good, ladies and gentlemen. It's about four, five lighter strikes. My shit ain't lighting in that wind. That 60 degrees done came and went, baby. I'm back in the whip, you heard? That's so crazy nowadays, nigga can't even be engine idling, man. Ayatollah was popping, my bro. I'm back on my rap shit, my nigga. You heard? I'm back on my rap shit heavy. I wrote some crazy shit today. Ooh, wee! I wrote some crazy shit today. You know, I, I be going through stages where I be doubting myself because I, I, I took like a good year off from rap. So I be paranoid like, yo, am I ever going to become one of those rappers that I'm not nice no more? That ain't the case with me, my nigga. Every time I do that, I run across, I get into a certain mood, run across a beat. I just go in, bro. I says I spit some shit today on some shit, my nigga. I said some shit, you heard? I spit one of those verses that you spit that verse, you be like, all right, nigga. I stop doubting yourself because when you want to go in, you go in big. And I went in big. You heard? So when y'all hear that joint, you'll understand what I mean. But I said some shit, nigga. I said some things on that. A hey, Boogie, what's really good? Let me put some light on the subject. Let me turn the call on again before my battery die out. Nah, man, you know, I, I don't give up. It's just that I don't be having no time. I don't really have, I don't, sometimes I don't feel motivated to do the rap shit. And it's and a lot of times I don't have the time to do the rap shit because that shit don't be really earning no paper like that. You feel me? And I really can't devote uh, hours of my time for shit that ain't, that ain't or earning no money. You feel me? But then every once in a while, you know, I got to do a song that's big or with a big dude or some shit like that. Pause. And, you know, I get hyped and I go in. Or I just hear a beat that's just gross. You heard? I got it. I forgot. Hold on. Let me stop playing games right now. Because I got the monster squad of beats right now. I don't even know which beats is on here. You know what I mean? But I'm back on my shit, my nigga. I'm back on my shit. Big Mac on my hip. Let me throw this beat shit in here. Let me see which beats I got on this motherfucker because. Manny Gomez was popping. I see you repping, repping that wrench gang. I got to get that 24 hour gen pop stream back on, bro. I don't know what the fuck I did. I did something stupid. I got to fix it. I just ain't have the patience to sit down and do it yet because my mind is on so much other shit. You know what I mean, but when I sit my ass down, I'm going to get that day room popping back off with that 24 hour gen pop stream, man. I don't know what I did on the program. I did some dumb shit. I'm the type of dude, I'll be mastering a program that if I don't mess with it for a couple of weeks, I forget how to use the shit. Hey, Boogie, I'm glad you know that, bro. I'm glad you know that, and a lot of other people need to know that. You heard? Anytime television, what's really good? My nigga Ayatollah Beats in the building. If you don't know, if you ain't familiar with my bro Ayatollah Beats, he did a lot of very serious, crazy beats for a lot of big, serious albums and artists. You heard? So if you're looking for beats and you want beats from a professional producer that did beats with major motherfuckers on major classic albums, holla at my dude Ayatollah Beats. He in the chat room right now. You heard? He in the live right now. He got that fire. You heard? Debt Collector was populating, my nigga. Gen Pop South was really good. Destro was populating. I don't know about that armadillo you talking about, bro. I'm a vegetarian. 
And even if I wasn't a vegetarian, I don't think an armadillo would be something that I want to throw some barbecue sauce on. You are it? Mac, it was really good. Third Mundo was really hood. Mm, this the beat I was writing to today, too. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Y'all lucky I can't get to my notes because it's on the phone that I'm on live on, bro. Ooh, wee. I said some things on this. Woo. It's hurtful, man. It's hurtful. It's hurtful the type of shit I be saying on the beat, man. Right, let me see, let me see what's going on. Oh, oh, oh. I got the song in here, but I can't play it because it's exclusive. I can't play it yet, man. I'm going to blow it up. I'm just trying to see which beats I got on this, on this, on this, um, on this disc. Niggas get your guns, it's thug time. Yeah, I got some crazy beats on here, bro. Got some old school shit. Old school beats that I never used, mixed with some new shit. But I got some things on here. I got some things on here. I'm just trying to see because it's like 150 beats on here, no exaggeration. Real talk. It's like 150 beats on this motherfucker. So I got to go through this shit. But yeah, I got to have shit like this on deck in my car, bro. You heard? Mm, this beat right here is hard. Mm. It's my nigga RG that did that. That's hard too. String of Bell, appreciate that donation, my bro. You heard? Peace, peace to the guards. Shea Butter was populated. E was really good. Yeah, my niggas. But nah, man. I'm about to I'm about to come out with some serious shit, so. Shout out to my bro LB. Just got off the jack with my bro LB. You heard Queen's finest. My bro about to start his clubhouse thing take over the game you're it i'm gonna be on deck with him i gotta start fucking with that clubhouse man know what i mean i got a clubhouse but i can't i don't know i don't let me see damn i keep forgetting i don't got my other jack on me man running, out, running around the streets with one jack on me cav lane was populating <laughs> See you would have built it like a pissy staircase. That's a hard one, you heard? Yeah, bro. But you know what I mean? If whoever's out there, man, y'all, y'all, y'all rappers, y'all wanna collab, just know, man. I'm sitting on -wee. I'm sitting on some serious shit, bro. My beat game, it's a differential. It's a differential with my beat game. I gotta sit down and really listen to all of this shit because I got all type of beats up in this motherfucker. I don't know what's in here. I don't know what the fuck is in here. There's a certain beat I'm looking for, man. Did I spit to this already? I think I spit to this already, man, but I don't know what. This beat 
is hard over here. Ooh. Ooh, this shit is ugly. This shit is ugly. Shout out to my nigga Rico Beats. Oh my god, this shit right here is stupid. I gotta spit, even if I spit to this, I'm spitting to this shit again. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. That shit ugly. That shit ug ugga mugga. Damn, did I spit to that shit already? I probably spit some, a freestyle for my nigga DJ Smooth Montana on that, but um, I got to go in on that. That's ugly. <laughs> oh, wow. Nah, I think, I, hold on, hold on. Nah, I think I did spit to the whole song to that, man. I gotta see. Yeah, bro, that shit right there is hard. East Coast crazy shit. You heard? Michael Ortiz was popping. Sean Penn was really good. Rojo was really hood. Sean Summers. Nah, but nah, this shit bang though. That shit go hard, my nigga. Ayatollah, man. You got to give me that heat, bro. You got me digging in my archive. You know what this, What I'm listening to right now? Like every every year, once a year, I, I make a disc of, of the craziest beats I got. Just in case something happened and I lose shit. I got them shits in the stash somewhere. You heard? So it's like this, this disc I'm listening to. Oh, this shit crazy. Ooh, I forgot about this fucking beat. This is my stash of beats, man. In case the end of the world happens, you heard? I got a stash of beats I could write to, my nigga. In case we go to nuclear war. But this shit is hard right here. Ooh. Right here. That shit hit, bro. I'm telling you, this is my beat stash, man. Every real rapper, Hood TMZ, was populating. Every real rapper, they keep a beat stash, you heard? Like a dog buries a bone on the low somewhere. If you're a real rapper, you keep a stash of beats in case anything ever happens. Anything ever goes wrong, you got a stash of fire ass beats to just resurrect your whole career. But you see what type of shit I'm sitting on, my nigga. This is my stash, my nigga. I'm telling you, my stash is ugly, bro. It's ugly. It's ugly. It's so ugly. All type of beats is in here, like. Shout out to my nigga. Ooh wee! Shout out to my nigga, Dr. G. You heard? He made this beat. This beat is stupid. Listen to this sample. Woo! 
I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me that I ain't never go in on this. It's ugly. I gotta holler at my son Judo. I gotta I gotta holler at my son Judo for this one right here, my nigga. Word is bond. Dr. G did this. He's an animal. He's an animal. I'm telling you. You know when that hook, when that hook come back on, it's lights out for everything in the room. When that hook comes back on after that 16, it's over. It's coming, baby. Duck, you better duck. You better duck. Cause that hook is coming around. That was in Hudson that I told a story about. We going in on this, Judo. I'm going to have to write a 16 to this ASAP. You hurt? That shit be crazy. Oh, hold on, hold on. Is this that beat? Oh, oh my God. Did I spit to this? Oh my God. If it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for that, it would be a better word. Woo! Woo! I'm not gonna keep doing it to y'all, but when that hook comes back on, it's ugly, bro. So let me stop it, man. Let me stop it. Shice Black, holla at me, my bro. You wanna collab? Get at me. DM me on Instagram. We talk some business. And I'll show you what I do when I get in a booth. You heard? <laughs> it says that gun in the hand. That's that walking down the street with the hair in your hand music. Straight up. But when that hook come back on, if it wasn't for this, if it wasn't for that, it would be a better world. That shit's stupid. Stupid. That's what up, bro. You heard my song that I got, Hero. But always a hero comes home. Nigga always got to go home, my nigga. What am I doing, Lord? Okay. Word up, can't stop the pop in the building, man. Snow Bunny. 
You heard Slim Blunt gang in the building. You already know I had to clip that Slim Blunt because I don't want to be on here looking like a zombo. You heard? I don't want to be on here looking like a zombo bombo. I don't want to be one of these rappers that be passing out on live and all of that. You heard? If it wasn't for this, it would be a better world. That shit go crazy. Then half of these beats. See, when you a producer, man, no matter what, anytime you label a beat, you got to label that shit with your name, my nigga. Because over the years, niggas will, niggas will forget who did that beat. You heard? And that shit of just being a nigga computer some, somewhere. You heard? Uh, you see my homegirl Freestyler, she labels all her beats with her name. Cause she knows. Yo, my home my, my, my homie Freestyler, chick from Spain. She's an animal. I already went in on this shit right here. A chick did this beat. I'm not saying that chicks, I'm not saying chicks is incapable of making stupid fire. I'm just letting it be known. A chick did this beat and she, she gets stupid. Made a, I, I made a very ignorant song to that, man. You heard? I think it's on my Patreon. If it's not on my Patreon, it'll be on my Patreon. But I made a very ignorant song that I didn't even put it out because it's so ignorant. But it's called The Dope Game Way. You heard? And it's just ignorance. It's an ignorant song, my nigga. But what was I really supposed to do with a beat like this? It ain't my fault, bro. It ain't my fault. Freestyle is a problem. Listen, Freestyler is a problem. Go look her up. Her name is Freestyler. She from Spain. She gets stupid. I could do this all day, but I'm not going to do this, man. You heard? The business was populating. Was really good. Like I said, bro, I got beats all day, every day. You want to collab with me? Holla at me with some bread. I ain't a Hollywood nigga. Now, I mean, let me know what you working with. And I will put you on a monster beat with me. And then I'll promote that song on the channel, bro. So, you know, you could guarantee that when we drop the song. Oh. When we drop the song, it'll be about two, three thousand, at least two, three thousand motherfuckers that'll know about it on the first day that we drop it. You heard? <sighs> Damn. Niggas don't be knowing how to park, man. That's why you gotta be careful, man. Cause when you ain't around, niggas will be smashing your shit. Word up, P West was populated. The bad seed was really good. My nigga, bad seed is in in, in the building, man. I mean, if y'all ain't hit, if y'all ain't hear that story I did with my nigga, bad seed, go check that out right now, cause it's phenomenal. You heard? I can't spit to this fast ass beat. You know, I had the, a lot of these beats I had for a very long time, but the, the type of ear that I have, I pick timeless shit that it could be, 
it could work in any era. But this shit right here is a, this is a real old school type of beat, but it's like deliberately old school. Like, you feel me? It's funny, it's a dope ass joint, like, know what I mean? But um, my nigga, my beat game is, like I said, this is my, this is my end of the world nuclear war. Stella made that beat, my nigga. All of these beats was made by a female producer and she's an animal. And these is beats she gave me years ago. So I'll be even, I'm terrified to hear what type of shit she making now, bro. But I got heat from her. I'm still sitting on like 20 monsters. Some of these I did songs to like this. I, I did a blazer to this, you know what I mean? Shout out to my bro Deadeye from London, you heard? I think son is from London. I know he's from the UK, I'm not sure. I think he's from London though. My son Deadeye. We did a joint called Bread and Pussy to this shit. It was big, I'm keeping it real. It was ignorant, but it was a big song. But I got some heat up in here, baby. Some of these shits I done made hits. Then you know, I'm the type of nigga when a producer sends me a beat, like when a producer gives me like, yo, they beat page or they send me a folder of beats. I don't just pick rap beats, my nigga. If I hear a pop beat in there that I can hear motherfucking uh, Taylor Swift on, I'm taking that. You feel what I'm saying? Because you never know. You may be in the studio one day with Taylor Swift and you just got to throw on some shit like this. You heard that Nicki come through? You know how Nicki be spitting the beats like this. Nikki come through saying some crazy shit. Taylor Swift on the hook. You heard? You just never know, my nigga. You heard? Nigga might be in the studio bumping to Gwen Stefani. You can't be putting that gangster shit for her. I just be like, yo, Gwen, I got some shit. Hold on, listen. Serious out here, bro. I don't just take rap beats, my nigga. If I hear a crazy pop beat, yo, let me get that. My nigga Casa, that nigga be sending me shit straight. Tevin Campbell, straight motherfucking Luther Vandross r and I'll be like, yo, let me get that. That's fire. Let me get that. You never know, my nigga. You might be in the studio with a monster vocalist and you be like, yo, hold on. I take pride in my beat stash, my nigga. My shit run deep. Mm, this shit so hard right here. Oh, matter of fact, this was the theme song. This was the theme song for my R&B, for my R&B show. Like I used to have an R&B, I used to have a hip hop video show and an R&B video show that I used to have on public access on like 40 different stations, you heard? But this was my R&B show intro. Shit was stupid. Shit was nuts. I had the clips of the independent, playing nothing but independent R&B. That shit was stupid. I've been a TV producer on the low, you heard? Mm, 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 mm. That shit ugly. Like I said, bro, I wasn't playing no games. Mm, mm, mm. This shit is silly. This shit is silly right here. Stop, bro, because I'll be I'll be here all night playing beats, and I don't want to do that to y'all. You heard? Amar Long was popping pause. Facts, bro. I mean, money beats. You heard? Conrad was populated. Yeah, my niggas, man. But yeah, bro, you got to keep that beat stash chunky. You heard? You just never know. You never know, bro. You never know who you're going to land in the studio with. 
and you just pull out the assault rifles and bombs, you heard? Pull out the assault rifles and bombs on niggas like this, yo. What's popping? What? What y'all need? Beats? Yo, hold on. Niggas be like, oh shit. Yeah, man, I got that heat though, but I got a bunch of. Listen, bro, I got a bunch of new shit. I got trap beats. I got motherfucking uh, uh, drill beats. I got fucking everything, my nigga. Trust me. I got monster drill beats. I be spitting bars to them drill beats. I ain't playing no games. I be spitting them bars to them drill beats, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I got a few of those too, man. Check that new video I just dropped with my bro Foul. F O U L. Focus on understanding life. Check that new video me and son just dropped called Brooklyn Dog Shit. You heard? I'm tight, man, because I got two new episodes loaded up on the channel right now that YouTube ain't approved yet. I wanted to drop one of them shits today, man. Crazy shit. So now I'm going to have to drop the shit tomorrow. Shit probably approved now if I check it. <clears throat> but I'm going to have to drop the shit tomorrow now. That shit sucks. You heard? I got two good. I got a new episode. One of my new episodes. You know what I mean? Because I'm bugging out. I ain't filming a new episode in a minute. But I got a, one of my new episodes. I wanted to drop that shit today. And I want to, I want to drop two episodes today. You heard? But YouTube taking mad long to approve my shit. You heard, so I'm probably just gonna upload it tomorrow. I mean, drop it tomorrow, Sunday, or whatever. Now, I mean, it's another doubt. I'll be coming on here, and I always forget to say if you out there and you need promo, holla at me because let me keep I'm gonna keep it real, which I was explaining this to a dude today, and this is real facts. Like, <clears throat> if a motherfucker got if a motherfucker need promo, my nigga, my channel, my channel is hitting the whole New York City, my nigga, and beyond the whole country. But New York City, we tuned in, bro. So if you out there pushing music, pushing a video, pushing anything, my nigga, you promoting in the wrong places if you ain't promoting on LAZ channel, my nigga, because my shit is my shit is organic farms. Ain't none of those fake views, fake hits, none motherfucking, none of that bullshit that these other sites and shit be doing. I ain't doing none of that, my nigga. It's organic valley out this motherfucker, you heard? So if your promo is on one of my uploads and that shit say it got 5,000 views in one day, that shit got 5,000 views in one day, my nigga. And your shit gonna get seen by them 5,000 motherfuckers because your shit is gonna be in the beginning of my episode. So that go for music, clothing, whatever the fuck, long as you ain't promoting no crazy shit. I ain't promoting no crazy shit on my shit, you heard? Don't hit me up talking about you trying to promote some wow shit. I ain't doing no wow shit on my shit. You heard? Yeah, bros. Dark Matter Rod was populating. Taekwon Brooker. Nah, I'm not familiar with that person, my brother. But expound for somebody that needs to be on the channel. Let me know. Nah, I mean, nah, you know, niggas be wanting. Sometimes a nigga want to promote shit that don't got nothing to do with my audience. Like, nah, I mean, nigga, come on your shit, yo. Nah, I mean, like, nah, bro, I don't. That's the wrong audience, my nigga. It's the wrong Audi, my bro. Then I be having a bunch of thousand companies hitting me up with their fake ass. Yo, we want to promote on your channel. Then when you holler at them niggas, they want to pay you in goods. He's like, yo, we got pay. Yo, we want to promote our headphones. We'll give you five pair of headphones. Nigga, I don't want no fucking headphones. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? I, while my landlord come knocking on the door, I can't be like, yo, I ain't got the rent. But you know what I mean? Hold these five pair of motherfucking no-name headphones down. You heard? Nigga ain't trying to hear that, my nigga. I can't take five pair of no-name headphones to the supermarket, fill up my cart, and then when I get to the self-checkout, 
I'm scanning the headphones. You feel me? That don't work, bro. I need actual money. You heard? So y'all niggas need to stop hitting me up because I be getting like 70 emails a day from companies who want to pay me with goods. I'm good, my nigga. Y'all niggas ain't going to have my house looking like Radio Shack. You feel me? Nigga talking about we give you 11 pair of headphones. I'm good, my nigga. I got my shit on eBay selling headphones for a living. Be at the motherfucking post store for shipping niggas headphones all day. Nah, my nigga. I need that guap. You heard? Holla at me with that change, nigga. That strange change. You heard? It's my bread kind of dead, nigga. My guap is kind of flopped. You heard? My chips need dip, nigga. My cash is trash. And all of the above, nigga. So, my chicken, <laughs> my chicken ain't finger licking right now, nigga. You heard? Holla at me with that cake, nigga. Fuck is you talk about, nigga? Niggas hitting me up trying to give me 14, 14 web cameras, you know what I mean? Fuck out of here, nigga. You heard? Niggas trying to get me fuck out of here, nigga. Nigga hitting me up talking about we give you 11 Bluetooth devices. Like, nah. Nah, Lord. Get that cake to the people. What the fuck you talk about? You're... Ernest Bull Gat was populating. See you in the building like... See you in the building like a motherfucking carbon monoxide detector. You're... Word, niggas be hitting me up. Word, clothing sites too. Niggas be hitting me up. Yo, we got a clothing, we got a clothing site where we sell urban clothing wear. You understand? And we would like to run a 30 second, a 60 second ad on your channel. And we can pay you with an 80% off coupon on all garments. Like, I'm going to take that shit. Like, oh, word? 80% off that bullshit? The fuck out of here, nigga. You heard? Nigga trying to sell me that shit they sell on 23rd Street in Chelsea, nigga. Nigga, I ain't fuck, I ain't promoting that shit on my site, nigga. Niggas want me to promote some corny ass plain black t-shirts and shit. Like, nah, nigga. Socks and shit. Nah, nigga. That nigga's the online uh hood store that sell white tees and shit. Like, nah, we get those for two dollars out here, my nigga. I ain't putting that on my channel, my nigga. I don't need your I don't need your 72 pair of socks. That nigga's trying to ship me 72 pair of socks. Like, nah, my nigga. I'm Gooch on that, you heard? I'm Gooch with your socks, my nigga. Word. I don't want none of that shit, nigga. I don't want no pen, stylus pens. You heard? I don't want no motherfucking uh uh Wi-Fi boosters. None of that shit, nigga. Stop sending me emails, nigga. You're P Caves TV was really good. Word. All of that niggas be hitting me up, my nigga. Tobacco products. Niggas be like, yo, we'll send you a case of blunt. We we'll send you a case of our new blunt aroma, banana blunt aroma therapy spray mist. Like, nah, I'm good. I'm good, my dude. We'll send you, we'll give you. We'll give you a whole box of this uh, peach flavored hemp paper. Like, nah, my nigga. Nah, bro. Hit my cash app. You heard? Hit my blash app. You heard? Hit that blash app up, nigga. Stop playing with me, my nigga. You heard? Hit that Venmo or that PayPal up with something, my nigga. Fuck you talk about, nigga. Hurt. But yeah, man. Promo tip though, I'ma keep it real, man. It ain't too many places that's if you doing rap and shit, niggas pr promo game for rap, man. That shit is whew. they be doing rap is dirty, my nigga. These big websites and shit, major mixtape sites and shit, they be doing niggas dirty, nigga. They Hollywood. They be one twenty five hundred. 3,500, you know what I mean? 5,000, 
Niggas be wanting 5,000 for a day on their homepage. Like, these niggas be crazy, my nigga. These niggas be crazy, my nigga. You heard? Niggas be like, yo, give me 5,000. We put your shit on the homepage for one day. Nigga, y'all niggas out y'all fucking rabbit ass minds, nigga. I get a nigga a whole fan base with $5,000, nigga. How do $5,000, nigga? I get you a whole fan base, nigga. And that's a fact. Niggas would be tired of seeing your face. Give me $5,000. I'll make niggas tired of seeing your face. Niggas be like, this nigga right here? Damn. This nigga got four, nigga, nigga commercial on 17 episodes in a row. You heard? I don't play no games out here, my nigga. You heard? Nigga says, zoot it. No, you an old school nigga when a nigga say zoot it. You heard? That's that shit from New Jack City, my nigga, when that nigga was like, Jughead, the gang's leader, said if I wanted to be down with a gang, I had to ice somebody. Said it couldn't be a wreck, couldn't be, couldn't be somebody I knew. That couldn't be an enemy, because that'd be too easy. It had to be a perfect stranger. Hit me with some of that red devil angel dust. I was so zooted. Nigga said I was so zooted. That shit was a classic. I don't know what's wrong with me, but lately I just been watching Training Day over and over. You heard? I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me, my nigga. I just be saying, damn, Training Day is available. I got to watch that shit again. You heard? I love that shit, my nigga. I was watching that shit the other day and I say, yo, you know what, bro? You know, when he caught that Oscar for training day, us black people was tight. And we said, nigga had to be a gangster and a killer to get an Oscar when he did Malcolm X and all type of other great films. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, son got a couple of Oscars. You feel what I'm saying? But um, he got jerked for Malcolm X. You feel what I'm saying? And then niggas gave him the joint for training day because niggas know they jerked shit out that nigga for the X joint. You heard? But um, I was watching training day. The nigga really did give an Oscar winning performance in Training Day, my nigga. The nigga gave an Oscar winning performance performance in that shit, my nigga. You heard? That nigga was crazy in that shit, bro. <laughs> that nigga was crazy in that shit. Nigga said, listen, Hoyt. You're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. You give me eight weeks. <laughs> That nigga Denzel is hilarious, bro, nigga. Because I'll make you detective. Or we could go out there with them. We could go out there and help him. That nigga was gaming the shit out that nigga all day long. You heard? Nigga, I've been playing it all week, son. It's you motherfuckers. Yo, that, nigga, that nigga right there, though, in that movie, that shit was crazy. I remember I went to the movie theaters. I went to the I spoke about this before i'm sure but i went to the movie theater to see training day you heard that shit was packed nothing but it was mad white people in there it was crazy like you heard and this was like the first time i ever been in a movie theater with white people watching some hood shit usually i'm in the movie theater with white people watching some white shit you heard but i never i i, I was never in a movie theater with niggas with some white motherfuckers watching some hood shit, you heard? So while I was watching the movie, I just was looking at them niggas' reaction to see how they responded to this type of culture, you heard? And when that scene happened, nigga, when Mace came running out that house, it was like this. Them motherfuckers ain't no police. Them niggas jackets. The fuck y'all sitting over there sitting looking pretty for? Blast them fools. And them niggas started banging. And them crip niggas came out of nowhere and just started banging on that car. Bang, 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 bang. And that nigga just turned around and was like, motherfucker. Nigga just start throwing them shots back, my nigga. In the movie theater, that shit was different. You heard? You know how loud shit be in the movie theater. In the movie theater, that shit was different, my nigga. That shootout. Nigga, that shit was priceless. When I turned around and I looked. 
white mo- all the white people, them niggas was like this. Oh my God. Niggas was in shock, my nigga. You heard the way them crip, the brolic ass LA crip niggas, niggas ain't had no shirts on. Niggas came around that motherfucking corner behind that tree. No niggas was dumping them shots. That shit was the realest shootout scene in the game. You heard? That shit was crazy. You heard? That nigga Denzel spent back and was dumping at them niggas. Niggas had the Chinese restaurant motherfucking menu as the warrant. That shit was crazy, bro. Know what I mean? But um, that movie theater was looking crazy after that scene, my nigga. I was like, yeah, nigga. I was like, yeah, nigga. The ghetto, we in here. Word up, my nigga. Nah, that shit was crazy, nigga. Why is Ulyss- Ulysses Perez? Why every every message he put is deleted? What what he was talking about, Manny Gomez? He was saying some crazy shit. But like, yeah, nah, that shit. Macy Gray was looking crazy in that scene, my nigga. That bitch was like, I want to see that warrant. I want to see that warrant. That shit was wild. That shit was wild. The crazy, not not a craziest scene in the whole movie. The craziest scene in the whole movie was that shit when that nigga was in the. When he left that nigga in the house with the Mexicans, my nigga. And them niggas threw that nigga in that bathtub, my nigga. Yo, like I said, in the movie theater, that shit was different. You heard? When they threw that nigga in the bathtub and they had that shoddy to that nigga face, my nigga, nobody in the movie theater knew how he was going to get out of that situation, my nigga. Niggas thought it was a rap for him. You heard? It was confusing to the brain because you're like, hold on. This nigga is the star character. There's no way he's going to get killed. But how the fuck is he going to get out this situation, my nigga? Niggas found that wallet in that pocket, my nigga. That was excellent writing, my nigga. That was excellent writing. You heard? That shit was intense, nigga. I thought they was about to blow that nigga head off in that toilet, my nigga. Nigga pushed the shit back. Oh, let me see. Let me see, bro. Nigga pushed the curtain back like, yo, hold on. Let me see. Nigga wanted to see that nigga head get twisted. That shit was crazy, bro. Yeah, like we was just saying, like, I mean, niggas, we said that at first because we was upset that he only got that shit because he played a villain. But when you watch the movie, his fucking acting was next level, bro. Everything. His acting was crazy, my nigga. He, he, that nigga played the most filthiest cop on the planet Earth, my nigga, to a T. Black ass filthy cop. You feel what I'm saying? He did that, my nigga. His acting game was crazy on that. It was crazy on everything he ever did. The Equalizer was nuts. Part two was a little out of control. Equalizer part two was a little bit out of control. But part one was a masterpiece. You heard? Super violent, but a masterpiece. That's the funniest movie in the world. When I want to laugh, I watch The Equalizer, my nigga. Because that nigga be making me laugh when he go, when he start tweaking out. He start counting shit and all of that. That shit be making me laugh, my nigga. Nigga be beating the shit out of niggas. But nah, Denzel as the equalizer. That shit is greatness. That shit is greatness, my nigga. I seen everything that nigga ever made, my nigga. Falling everything. Only thing I didn't really watch was that shit. Uh, the shit that's like a play. Forgot the name of that shit, but the shit that's like a play and shit. And his son and all of that. I watched a little bit of it. I couldn't get I couldn't really get into it like that. Now I mean, but Denzi, forget about it. And that nigga's son, Denzel's son. That nigga's an animal, my nigga. I'ma keep it real. Denzel's son is the next Denzel. Denzel's son is the next Denzel, my nigga. That nigga got it. He got it all the way. You heard? 
That nigga's an excellent actor. He played in that shit with the Ku Klux Klan where them niggas went undercover and a black nigga was pretending to be pretending to be a white nigga to, to infiltrate the Ku Klux Klan. That was Denzel's son. That nigga been in mad shit. That nigga's a beast, my nigga. He's a beast. Word up. Yeah, now nah, that, that movie was based on a true story. That movie, I'm talking about the movie with the Ku Klux Klan shit. That was based on a true story. It really was a black cop that infiltrated the Ku Klux Klan. Word though, nah, that nigga's son is na his son is nasty. Matt McKay was populating, bro. I see you flagging that gem pop in the building. Shout out to everybody that's part of the gem pop membership. You heard? Paying that that strong three dollars a month. You heard? Shout out to everybody in Jitter Then Pop. You heard 99T peace. I ain't see you. I ain't see you, bro. Peace. She and Vinnie Williams, man. I got them beats all day, bro. Holla at me if you want to collab. You heard? We could do some shit. And that's a fact. Rico was populating. Yeah, my nigga. I'm faded and it's one in the morning, my nigga. So, you know, I'm an old nigga, man. So once one in the morning come around... It's a wrap. Once 10, 30, 11 come around, it's a wrap. So let alone one in the morning, I really be wrapped up. My phone is on 5%. I'm about to head. I'm about to head out. You feel me? I'm going to run my mouth with y'all till my phone die. Last time I did that shit, that shit was stuck looping some stupid shit on live. I'm like, yo, these niggas is crazy, bro. They got me on there looking crazy, baby. Tony Red, what's popping? Yeah, bro. I mean, you know, sometimes a nigga gotta work for a motherfucker to pay the bills and feed the kids, you heard? So I can't knock a motherfucker that's working for that's working a job because sometimes a nigga got bills to pay. Nigga, nigga, nigga can't afford to start a business. Starting the business don't be don't be paying the bills sometimes. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, I don't knock nobody way of getting money, my nigga. Some niggas got a job so good that that shit is a hustle. You heard? I've known people who had jobs that was so good that that shit is basically a hustle, my nigga. You getting drug money on the, out that motherfucker, you heard? Like I was telling niggas, my nigga murder, man. My nigga murder when that nigga was home off his bed the first time. That nigga was working in D'Agostino's. That nigga was working in a mad, rich-ass neighborhood. A mad, hot, and rich-ass neighborhood. I mean? And when he was making those grocery deliveries, niggas was tipping that nigga $20 every motherfucking delivery. And he had a regular, this nigga on parole with a regular salary, getting his regular salary, as well as Another five, six hundred dollars a month in tips. Not a month. Five or six hundred dollars a pay period in tips. You feel what I'm saying? This we talking about the year 2000 and shit. Like, know what I mean, that was good ass money for a nigga home on parole. That was good ass money, my nigga. Nigga had the D'Agostino's job. Nigga had the D'Agostino's job. Plus was getting super monster tips. Plus that nigga was selling weed. With some bread. That nigga murder. That's one thing I say about that nigga. That nigga find a way to get some money. He will find a way. Chinky eye was populating. Yeah, bro, I don't be really, we was talking about that today, man. I don't be really having too many opinions on other dudes, man. I don't wish nobody being locked up. I don't wish that shit on my worst enemy. 
Ain't nothing worse than being in a fucking can. I don't care what it is. State, feds, Rikers Island. I don't want to do none of that shit. The other day, you know what's some crazy shit? The other day I was driving and shit, right? And I drove past this, um, it was a, um, it was a building and shit. I think I was in Queens or something. And it was a building and shit, right? And the building, yeah, I was in Long Island City. The building, as soon as I seen the building, it was like, it just gave me a, uh, it just turned my stomach. It turned my stomach. And at the same time, it motherfucking made me a little homesick, right? So I'm like, what the fuck is this building that's making me, that's turning my stomach and making me a little homesick at the same time? And the building was a motherfucking, um, a veteran's house, like a veteran's, a veteran's shelter, not a shelter, but like a veteran's, some type of shit for veterans. And that shit looked at exactly like a jail, my nigga, like. They, the inside of it was like they was just living in a big jail, like a dorm, like a dormitory on Rikers Island. And, and, and you know, when something is built by the state and shit like that, all that shit be looking alike. So when I saw that shit, I was like, damn, that shit look like jail. And then, you know, the, the sick institutionalism inside of a nigga, a nigga, a nigga was a little homesick from that shit. Like, damn, look at that good, juicy, I mean, jail dorm. You heard? I want to go in there and come into power. You heard? That's the sick shit that they be that be in your genes, nigga. Once you get out of the pen, like anytime you see a little jail or something, it's like a challenge to you. You like, hmm, I wonder if I could go in that motherfucker and take it over. You heard? Some fucked up shit that they put into a nigga, man. But when I saw that shelter the other day, I was like, I was like, damn, that shit look mad jelly right on the street, and they was like all of the veterans and shit. They was hanging out in front of the shit and all of that. And you could tell they probably got to be in there at a certain time. And when they in there, that shit is like jail. My nigga is just beds, probably a TV room, a bathroom with showers. You feel what I'm saying? It's fucking sick. Because when you institutionalize, that shit like turns you on. Nigga, you see that shit, you be like, damn, nigga, jail. Like, it's fucked up, bro. It's a sick, fucked up sickness when you institutionalize from being in jail for a long time or growing up in jail. You feel what I'm saying? You see that shit, you just, you feel a certain kind of way. You be like, yeah, nigga, if I was in there though, I'd be doing me. You heard? Shit is crazy, bro. Shit is crazy, nigga. I think I put up mad new shit on Patreon today, you heard? I put up mad new shit on Patreon today. I put up, I put up like three or four of my major mixtapes because dudes was asking me where they could find my mixtapes at. So I put up like four of my major mixtapes, like my biggest. I can't even call them shits mixtapes. Them shits is albums, my nigga. You heard? I put up like four or five of those so niggas can find those easily. And I uploaded mad songs. You feel what I'm saying? So it's mad new songs on my Patreon. And it's like four of my bit my biggest albums is on that shit on the homepage, you heard? Know what I mean, I'm gonna keep flooding that shit with content, man. But like I told y'all, if I mean my Patreon is for my it's 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 for it's for everybody, but it's for those who really want to get in touch with that St. Last music, my nigga. And that Pottersfield music and that story of Pottersfield coming. You understand what I'm saying? Because bro, listen, let me tell you something. I got archives, archives, my nigga, and I done been on thousands of mixtapes, thousands, my nigga, and I'm talking about official mixtapes, White Owls, Digs, Woo Kid, real shit, 